We often say that some of our favorite things to cook or do on the griddle are these copycats. Not a copycat per se on this one. Well, the word Big Mac, words Big Mac are in there, <laughs> but yes. it's not a copycat from McDonald's per se. No, we've done a Big Mac copycat. We have. Absolutely loved it. Cannot wait to try these Big Mac Sloppy Joes. You want to see us knock these out on the griddle? Stick around while we dig, dig in. I can't believe the Wall Twins. They're right there. That's I one know. of them. That's the I'm other the one. one. I'm the, the other one. I am ready, Brett. Are you ready? Well, We're gonna the griddle switch gears isn't here. ready, I'll tell you that much. So Brett is on the mic. By that, I mean the griddle. He's gonna be griddling this up today. Uh, just turning the griddle on now. Yeah. Okay, so That's while we're waiting the for it to not ready. Okay, so while we're waiting for the griddle to come up to temp, why don't you talk about the groceries? Got this uh, wonderful uh, McDonald's sauce. We make it our own, just like we kind of do. We'll talk about that coming up in just a second. Of course, you can't have a Big Mac without sesame seed buns. So we got these here, these Arnold sesame seed buns. We've got shredded. We've got dill pickles, onions. We're going to be grilling with the meat as well as topping on raw. We've got Worcestershire sauce. What's this here sauce? Wash your sister sauce. Some beef broth. We're going to be incorporating with some cornstarch and this 80-20 ground beef and American <laughs> cheese. I was pointing to the cheese while you were talking about the beef, but that's okay. Yeah, so we've got like two or three ingredients going into this thing. So All right. I'm going to glove up and get ready to cook. So we, we did decide to go with 80-20 ground beef. We like the way it cooks down. Correct. Uh, we could have gone with anything else, but for these, because we are still kind of thinking of that burger, mm -hmm. that's what we're going with. So we're just going to do a light salting, if you were. We're going to assault this. Uh, that was actually... And why not pepper it as well? That's right. All right, so we're just going to chop this down. But we uh, do want to keep it kind of as is so we can get at least some somewhat of a sear yes, on the bottom. there you go. Good call. But we will chop this down a little bit, and then we're ready. We'll flip it, brown it. All we're trying to do right now is brown this. Then we'll drain it a little bit, and then we'll start hitting it with the sauce. Brett, aren't we supposed to be uh, cooking this with the onions? Oh, my stars. Yes, let me get the onions <laughs> going on over here. What do Which I do? Way you go? Which way are you going? <laughs> Normally when we saute, we do some butter, but this we're just getting these started and then we're going to incorporate it with the beef while it is cooking. So no need here, just a little S and P. Won't NBD. Let me see. NBD won't let me be me. Brett, you're doing a phenomenal job. I just Thanks, man. I went to uh, onion cooking school. <laughs> yeah, you did. Well, congrats, you graduated. Right away, second in my class. Which is weird because there's only one person oh, in the class. snap. So. Here we are. Wow, we've never told that joke before. Never. <sighs> He never gets old, you know why? Because the first time he told it, it was already old. It was old. Flippity doo da, flippity a. I'd start incorporating some of those onion, my guy. I'm gonna incorporate all of them. How about that? Fine. You know what? You You're do you boo. You're in charge, and you do you boo. Large and in charge. Oh, that smells. So it good. smells it absolutely pepper. amazing. I don't hate it, it's not right. mad at it. One thing too, we talk about this a lot. Uh, we do like to drain the oil, the grease off, but uh, which is pretty easy to do on the griddle. So that's all we do, we'll pick it up and uh, move the oil over and then we'll bring the meat back over to the other side. I will just do this a couple times until we get enough of that grease out. And it works beautifully. Yes it does. That it do my guy. That it do. That it do. That it do don't care. Bottle there. Ah, oh, smells so good, man. All right, Brett, I think at this point we can probably go ahead and get our broth going. Okay. Because I put this, these on low now, so yeah, this is good. And, and it's almost all the way cooked through. We're gonna cook it another five to seven minutes anyway. There you go. This is all cooked in. Brett is going to take the our we no, it calls for about half cup. We want a little bit more juice, so we've got two cups. So we're gonna pour about uh, half of this in right now. Just kind of juice it up. There you go. Nice. I'd make sure you get the juices mm -hmm. in there. Make sure oh, they that adds a depth of smell. <laughs> oh, we didn't even put the Worcester sauce in Dude. yet. So we were supposed to cut put about a table a teaspoon. Two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce in the in the um, but we didn't. By the way, that is beef broth, right? We did say that. Correct. Okay, so I put a little bit in, and I'll add a little bit more after. So now, Brett, while that's sitting there, because you got the juice stopped, mm -hmm. now you're going to go ahead and make a slurry with the rest of this. We're going to add cornstarch to this, mix it up. There you go, and you're going to mix that in just to make sure everything's not clumpy. And by the way, the broth is cold, which is why we're able to do this. If mm -hmm. this were hot, it would obviously keep that super clumpy. There you go, so as it adds to the beef, it will activate, it will start to thicken, so it should hold the beef together a little bit more. Now, we do have a lot. We don't have to add all that, 
We, but why not? Yeah, we go <laughs> big know. and go home. There you go. All right, before you lose it all. There we go. So this is the base for our Sloppy Joes. Man. So we just wanna keep cooking this and we'll keep adding the, the juices. Now we are unfortunately on an angle. We, we didn't set up, we could have set up a little bit better, we didn't. And we could have fixed the pegs on the griddle and we didn't. So this is what we're calling the business, dealing with it. Dealing with it. And you know what, we're okay with it because <laughs> oh, it's gonna it be delicious. so good. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. I'm McLovin' it. All right, so we still got this wet, sloppy mess, hence the name Sloppy, sloppy Joe. Joe. We're gonna finish cooking this up. Brett talked about it, you know, we, we tasted it. I think it's perfect. He thinks it needs a touch of salt. So we'll we'll reconvene, we'll get this ready, and then uh, Brett, let's do some B-roll. Okay, we're gonna add some salt. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's a little friend. pepper, a little peppy. So here we go. We're just gonna go ahead and mix this in, and Brett, let's B-roll shoot this, and let's let's uh, get let's it eat. out. Let's eat. So Brett, real quick too, while this is cooking up, why don't you go ahead and, uh, because we're getting into this, we forgot to mention our homemade Mac Big Mac sauce. sauce. Now, we've seen the TikTok, the McDonald's chef, yep. who is giving away the secrets and says there's no ketchup in uh, Big Mac sauce at all, but we have tried the original and with paprika, did not like it. So we use ketchup because we did grow up in Utah. We love this pink sauce. Talk about the sauce yes. and what goes in. Well, we call this our fry sauce, and the original recipe that I saw and I've been making literally for years is ketchup and mayo, basically. But then we add a couple of things. So what I do, and I measure with the heart. I've literally made this a thousand times. So I make whatever size of mound of mayonnaise that I do, how I measure my ketchup is I pour the ketchup over it until the mayo has disappeared. That is where I get my start. And then we grab a big heaping glob of dill relish yeah, if you don't have dill about relish. two tablespoons worth yeah if you don't have dill relish that's okay you can uh, chop up some yeah, dill pickles, pickles some yeah dill pickle chips whatever have you and then we put in some of this celery salt that is that is a little bit of a secret ingredient also some pickle juice then we mix it up and then afterwards we add a little bit more celery salt we also add a little more dill relish and i will tell you this this was amazing now i had brett make a ton because i kid you not when we first looked up the when i first saw Big Mac Sloppy Joes, I assumed that you use the pink sauce as the <laughs> actual the Sloppy, sloppy Joe, Joe sauce. And I'm like, this is gonna look pink and kind of odd. So we looked up the recipe. So we've got a ton of sauce. If you need some, we'll send it to you. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, anyway, so we're getting ready <laughs> we to go. We can bottle it up. Last thing, Brett, while we're doing this, let's prep those buns. We forgot to do that. Let's get the buns on the griddle. And we're not gonna add anything to this. We're just getting a light little uh, crisp, a little light little toast on these. And then uh, we'll pull this whole thing and build. There it is. There they are. They in are all in all their, their glory. glory. All of it. All of it. All of its Big Mac glory. I'm super excited to try this one. We're going to do it quick because I don't want the bun to get soaked, although it seems to be holding it yeah, pretty well. Yeah, absolutely does. Uh, the sauce 
is going to be boss on this. Yes. The pickles were a little bit uh, sketch because <laughs> we grabbed the wrong kind. We're yes. looking for hamburger dill, dill pickles. pickles. These were just kosher. Well, these do, these do see, they say kosher hamburger dill, but the Mount all of the ones we get literally just say hamburger dill chips. And typically we go with the best made chips. Yes. Brett's out, oddly enough. Uh, but <laughs> yeah. we're not going to let that deter, and no. it's still going to be good. But Brett, like we say, can look amazing. This looks absolutely, this might be a two-hander. It might be, yeah, like you say, it can smell amazing. Oh, this absolutely. Can I get a smell uh, yet? Big Mac smell Better than yeah, a Big, Big Mac. Yeah. Did you smell that? <laughs> yeah, it was like I a Big did. Mac. But if this doesn't taste amazing, this is all, all for, for not. not. Uh, a cheers. cheers. I'll eat to that, my, my brother. brother. Mm. Big Mac. Mm -hmm. Big Mac. Oh my God. How? The onion, the lettuce, the cheese, <laughs> the sauce. You don't need that extra bread. Mm -mm. I wish I had more sauce on it. Mm. Mm, but it is so juicy, that ground beef. This is a Big Mac, dude. This is aptly named the Big Mac Sloppy Joke. And it is and living up say, to its name. The only issue I have is that pickle. <laughs> it doesn't taste like a Big Mac pickle otherwise, mm. but it's still good. It's still a good pickle. Yeah. Um, um, budget Big Mac at home, you betcha. I can't wrap my mind around it. So here's the deal. I knew it was gonna be good because the Sloppy Joes, yeah, we've yeah, done, yeah, done yeah. some oh. similar, like we did the, the Made Right copycat. Absolutely um, amazing. It, th that's what this reminded me of when we were doing this the sloppy beef, Joe, sure. the uh, beef, because uh -huh. same, same thing, we made a slurry, and it was it was just similar. So I knew it was going to be juicy, I knew it was going to be good. Yeah. I did not know that when I sunk my teeth all the way through, it was going to be such a sensation of, oh my gosh, this Big is a Mac. Big Mac. 100%. Now, the only thing is they have their seasoned beef, it's a little bit different, it's, that's going to be it, but the sensation is there. Yeah. That's a Big Mac. It, it's, it is. You have to try this one. I, that's what I said. You got to try it. Give you it a go. You have to try this Let one. Let us know how it goes. If you enjoyed this video, if it gave an idea of something else that you can cook on your griddle, make sure and give this video a thumbs up. We really do appreciate it. It's one way in which you can support us in what we do. Another way you can support us is by purchasing one of our two cookbooks, the Epic Outdoor Griddle Cookbook and Smash. Smash. Both are available on Amazon or anywhere books are sold. Also, if you've stuck it out with us this long, you know how much we appreciate you just sticking out these videos. Uh, and so make sure and include in your comment, we know you kids like some extra sloppy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Happy Gilmore, or no, 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 Billy Madison. Billy Madison, Billy Madison. reference there. Uh, but we we know you kids likes them extra, extra sloppy. Because we do, and that is amazing. And you know, it's, it's midday, it's hot, it's 90 degrees here yeah. in Florida, humid, but we're sweating to the oldies because we're the oldies. Uh, and loving this, man. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. Another I'm banger, love it, doing indeed. this. Man, aside from coming and cooking and knocking out bangers like this, why else do we do all this? Because all we do is twin, no, no matter, matter what. what. And with that, we bid you adieu. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And griddle on. on.